Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Another AI video. This one, we're in chat LLM teams, and I got something awesome to show you. Just last week, I showed you how they have integrated in artifact windows, just like Claude Sauna 3.5, but theirs works with all the major large language models, or LLMs. Well, they've taken it a step further now, and now they've got React artifacts. That's right, they've got React artifact windows, and they work with all the big LLMs, GPT-4, GPT-4 Omni, Claude, Sonnet, Opus, Llama 3, etc. Guys, it is awesome. You get real-time feedback, you can boost your productivity, and it makes development a breeze, especially for all of you React developers. So let me show you how to sign up, get it going, and how it works. Here we go. All right, the next step is a simple one. Just head over to abacus.ai, links in the description below, and then simply click on either Chat LLM Teams up here at the top, or you can hover over Products and select Chat LLM. When you do that, you'll get some options here. You can sign in, or you can get started. Now, if you wanted, if you don't have an account, you can just simply sign up with a Gmail account. It's free. That said, I want to point this out to you because it's very important. It is only $10 per user per month to sign up for Chat LLM Teams. I bring that up because if you sign up for Chat GPT-4, for example, it's $20 a month and you get access to one LLM, which of course is Chat GPT. This one, you get access to all the state-of-the-art LLMs and at half the price. It's absolutely crazy value, definitely worth it in my books. That said, let's click on sign in and let's get started. All right, so here I am logged into my chat LLM account and you'll see here right up at the top, the first thing is I am currently in GPT-4 Omni. However, when I click that little arrow there like I did here, you'll see here that I have access to all of these big LLM. So if I want to use Sonnet, Gemini 1.5 Pro, 40 Mini, even Llama 3.1, which I should note, launched today and it's already in there, I can go ahead and do that. So just keep that in the back of your head. So let's start with 4 Omni here, or GPT-4 Omni, and I'm going to type in create a simple, playable 2D survival game using React and SVG graphics. Very important that we're clicking on React. I'm going to hit Enter and watch it cook here. It's just going to go ahead and start making it. Now, you're not going to see the artifact window right away. It's usually after about 15 lines or so, it starts to think, hey, this is a pretty big request. There comes the artifact window. The game already works right out of the box, as you can see, and it gets a little better here because not only is it using React, it shows us a preview and the underlying code. So when I click on code here, look at this. This is the exact code it used to make it. You can already see here it says equals React. So this is React, and there we go. There's the preview. So that is amazing in my books, and this is in, again, Chat LLM Teams. If I go to Chat GPT-4, for example, here, I have an account with them as well. I did create a simple, same prompt. Look at this. I created it. It gave me the code, but it does not give me the artifact window. So this is where Chat LLM Teams just blows its competitors out of the water, in my opinion. Let's look at a couple more examples. All right, I got another example I'd like to show you here. Up at the top, we're going to switch from GPT-4 Omni to Gemini 1.5 Pro. Chat LLM Teams comes with the pro versions of all of the big LLMs included in the price, so why not use this one? All right, let's do a mood board in this case. I'm going to just copy in my prompt. You see, I just top copied in a prompt that says, create an interactive mood board generator using React. Very important, we're using React. And then you'll see here some details, includes features for shuffling color palettes, adding, removing mood words, etc., etc. I'm going to go ahead, click on Enter. And watch this here. It's going to go ahead and it's going to start cooking in just a few seconds here. Then we're going to open up the side window and we'll show you how it used React and just how good this really is. All right, so here we go. You'll see here that it has given us the code here on the left side. Standard stuff, but what's not standard is on the right side here. We've got our own little artifact window and we can go ahead and click on the code here. So if we want to know exactly what the code is, including the fact that it does use React, just like we asked it to, and then we can click on preview, and then, hey, let's go ahead and shuffle some colors around. And you'll see here that it has done exactly what we asked it to do. So that's just another example of how artifact windows are working in all the major LLMs inside chat LLM teams. Let me show you one last example. All right, and the next thing I want to show you is how to create a React-based pixel art creator component. Now, 
this is a lot more complicated and complex than the previous ones. And that's a good thing because I want to show you really what chat LLM teams can do here. So we're going to go ahead and switch from Gemini 1.5 Pro. We're just going to click on it and we're going to now select Claude Sonnet 3.5. Now, as you're probably aware, Claude Sonnet 3.5 already has a built-in ability to use artifact windows. Now, if I go down here, you'll see here, for example, I'm on the Claude.ai website. We have one experimental feature enabled, and it is the artifacts. You just got to click this button on in case you weren't sure. So there we go. But we're going to do this inside Claude Sonnet, or we're going to do a part of me inside chat LLM team. So here's the prompt. Very simply, we're going to create a React-based pixel art creator. It's going to have drawing, erasing, fill tools, undo, redo capabilities, and even a hypothetical export feature that you can export high-end PNG files. So... There's a lot going on there, color selection, all of these good things. You can I'll put a link to the prompt in the description below so you can download the whole prompt if you want to replicate what I'm doing here. But I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And again, we're using Claude Sonnet 3.5. So let's just go ahead and click on that one here. And then I'm also going to go to the Claude.ai website. And with artifacts on, I'm going to go ahead and click here and have it render here. I'm going to come back when it's done and I'm going to show you a comparison between the two. All right, welcome back. So here we go. Here is the chat LLM Teams version. Pretty darn impressive. If you ask me, if I click on code, you'll see here that it was created using React. There it is right there, react.usState. There we go. And then the preview, well, here it is. Now, if I go a little further, you'll see here it defaults to 16 by 16, but if I want to make it 64 by 64, presto, job done. We can select one of these different colors. Look at this. And then if I just sort of hover over and do my thing here, I'm drawing on this little grid here, and I can do things like erase. This is working. This is fantastic. I love it. If we go to Claude AI, it's very similar. In fact, almost exactly the same here. But also keep in mind here that with Chat LLM Teams, we did this in Claude Sauna 3.5, but if we want to do compares, contrast, and things like that, I could simply just select GPT-4 Omni or any of these other models and recreate it and give it a go here. So in all of these models. So keep that in the back of your head. You get all of this inside Chat LLM Teams. It's absolutely wild, including the new Llama 3.1. So there it is, guys. That's a quick overview. React artifact windows are working in Chat LLM Teams. You definitely got to give it a crack. I've got links to try it out in the description below. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.